Hello and welcome to Mima's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful bag here. It's a weave bag. Okay. So for this bag, you're going to need a 6mm crochet hook. You're also going to need a stitch marker. The yarn that you're going to be using. I'm using my crepe, which is 6 3 millimeters thick. Sorry. You're also going to need a scissors. Okay. For the yarn, you can also use t-shirt yarn. It, it can also do well. You can also use another yarn, but which is a bit thick, around 3 millimeters thick. So let's begin. So I'm going to begin with a chain of 17. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So I'm going to continue and come back when I have a chain of 17. Okay, so I now have my chain of 17. Okay, so we're going to be working in rows and we're also going to be using slip stitch as well as single crochet. Now we're going to be increasing with two stitches on each row. Okay, and we're going to do that by putting three stitches in the middle stitch. So right now I'm going to mark the middle stitch here, which is stitch number nine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put a stitch marker. So this is the stitch that we're going to be increasing in each and every row. Okay, up to a certain point. So just going to be inserting three single crochets in this one. Also, the first three stitches here, I'm going to be putting slip stitch, as well as the last three stitches here, I'll be putting slip stitch okay for all the rows okay so right now i have 17 stitches i'm going to crochet one more stitch which is for turning purposes only so it doesn't count okay so i'm going to chain one and then i'm going to skip it and then begin in this one and i'm going to begin with slip stitch okay the first three stitches are going to be crocheted with slip stitch so this is number one this is number two, and this is number three, okay, like that. Now, the fourth one, I put single crochet, okay, and the next one, single crochet, okay, one single crochet into each and every stitch. Now we've reached the stitch marker, so I'm going to remove it and I'm going to put three single crochets into the stitch. Okay, this is number one. Okay, and then I'm also going to replace my stitch marker in the second stitch into this uh, stitch, this one, the middle stitch of our increase. Okay, and then I'm going to put the last one. Like that so I continue with one single crochet into each and every stitch up until I'm left with three stitches where I'm going to put slip stitch okay okay so now I'm left with one two three stitches so I'm going to do slip stitch, okay, and this is how you do slip stitch. I also have a video which um, shows you how to do slip stitch, okay, so this is our first row, this one, and we now move on to the next row, okay. So each time that you turn to the next row, we're going to be doing a chain of one. And it, this doesn't count. This is the chain and it doesn't count, okay? This is for turning purposes and to ensure that our work remains straight, okay? So then I turn, okay? Now, from now onwards, we'll be inserting our hook in the back loop only. We have the front loop, this one, and we have the back loop, this one, okay? So this is the back loop that we've been setting. This is a chain 
it doesn't count and you don't crochet into this chain okay this one you begin in this one okay so the first three stitches as i said earlier are for slip stitch okay so this is going to be slip stitch again into the next slip stitch again the third one slip stitch so we have one two three okay so now we continue with single crochet in the back loop okay single crochet in the back loop single crochet in the back loop single crochet sorry in the back loop up until we reach the stitch marker and then we do an increase again in the back loop okay now we're at the stitch marker i'm going to remove it and i'm going to put three single crochets into the stitch okay three single crochets into the stitch that's one again number two and then i put back my stitch marker in the second one don't forget to put it back okay and then the last single crochet into that stitch okay we've done our increase now we continue with single crochet into every stitch until we're left with three stitches we're going to put slip stitch okay okay now we have four okay so now we have one two three i'm going to start with the slip stitch okay slip stitch again and then into the last one into the back loop like that slip stitch okay as you can see it's starting to curve okay that is that is what we want okay so i've just completed my second row continuing to third row i chain one again and then i turn my work so i'm going to continue with this sequence the first three stitches i put um slip stitch and then i continue and then in this stitch here i increase by putting three uh, single crochets and then in the middle stitch in that um in the increase i put back my stitch marker i continue again and then in the last three stitches i put slip stitch i chain one again and repeat the sequence so we're going to repeat this this last row that we just did for eight more rows and then come back so i'm just going to do this one so that you just see one more time and then we'll continue so this is the chain we don't crochet into this one we begin into this one okay with slip stitch into the next slip stitch into the next one slip stitch okay we now have one two three so we continue with single crochet okay continue with single crochet in the back loop don't forget in the back loop we want to create that rib that rib feature on our handbag okay so now we're at the stitch marker i remove my stitch marker again and then i put three stitches and then put back my stitch marker into the second one this one okay crochet again the third single crochet and then i continue into the next one okay i 
until I reach the last three stitches where I put the slip stitch. Okay. Okay, now I'm left with, okay, that's one, two, and three. So I begin the slip stitch. Okay. This last one can be a bit difficult, but just make sure that you insert in the back loop. Okay. Okay, so this is our bag. So let's continue and crochet seven more and then come back. Welcome back. So I've now completed my 10th row. Okay. So depending on how many stitches you begin with, by now you should have added them with plus 20. Okay. I begin with 17. I now have 37 at this round, this round here. And as you can see, our work is forming a triangle like. And here we have a small, it's narrowing inside and that is what we want, okay? So from this coming up row, from this row that is coming up, we're, we're no longer going to be increasing into this um, middle stitch here, okay? So I'm just going to keep my stitch marker here and then continue without uh, increasing my number of stitches. I'm going to maintain 37 for the next 12 rows, okay? I'm going to maintain... 37 for the next 12 rows and then we'll start decreasing okay so i'm just going to continue with what i was doing chain one and then i turn and then this is the chain we don't stitch into this one we continue with slip stitch into the first three stitches okay that's one two and three Okay, then I continue with the single crochet throughout. We are not going to be increasing any stitches. Okay, I'm just going to do this show with you, and then we're going to do 11 more. Okay, okay, in the back loop. So let's just continue. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the stitch marker here so that it will just tell me where I began uh, the next coming 12 uh, rounds. I'll remove it later on. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with one single crochet into the stitch and then I'll continue again into the other stitches with one single crochet. until I'm left with three stitches and then I put slip stitch and then complete my row okay okay Okay, now I'm left with three. One, two, three. I begin again and complete with the slip stitch. One, two, into the last one, three. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat this last row that I did, okay, for 11 more and then come back after that one. If you want, um, 
if it is a bit difficult for you to count the number of rows that you did you count them like this because of the ribbing this is row number one this is row number two this is row number three and then this is four and then this is five and then this is six seven eight nine ten i just did eleven here okay so i'm going to continue with no increase of stitches and do more 11 more rounds and then come back welcome back so i've just finished the 12 rounds from this stitch marker here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and this one is the 12th okay so at this moment i have 37 stitches so i'm going to count the 19th stitch the, that is the middle stitch okay here I'm going to put a stitch marker okay in the 19th stitch so if you have more stitches you just divide them into half you'll find that we have odd numbers and there will be one stitch that will be left in in between okay so in this case it's 18 18 and then we have one stitch that will be left in between the 19th one okay so I'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. This is the 19th stitch. Okay, so I've just put a stitch marker there. You can confirm by counting this other side, it should be 18. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we have 8 in this side and also 8 in that side. So from now on, what we want to do is we want to reduce, okay, we want to reduce our stitches so that we also get this shape this other side. So how we're going to do that is that here, this is the middle stitch, okay? So we're going to crochet together this one, the one before in this one and the one after these three together okay so we're going to reduce um by joining these three together in each row therefore we'll be reducing two to two each row until we remain with 17 stitches okay so i'm just going to show you how we're going to do it for this row okay so this one that i'm now crocheting is row number 23 okay so again we maintain what we are doing at this other end that is three first stitches we do slip stitch okay this one slip stitch the next one slip stitch in the back loop okay and then we continue with single crochet okay like that In the back loop single crochet so again also we're going to crochet 10 rows of reducing okay so just keep on crocheting until you you reach the stitch marker and then we reduce there Okay, so now I'm left with this stitch, okay, I'm left with this stitch here before the stitch marker and this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet these three together, okay, so I'm going to remove this stitch marker here, okay, and then I'm going to insert in the back loop, grab my yarn and pull through and then remain like this, again into the next one which had the stitch marker grab my yarn and pull through again and then into the third one grab my yarn and pull through so that I have four loops here and then I yarn over and pull through all the four loops okay and then I'm going to put my stitch marker into this one okay 
Then I continue with single crochet. Continue with single crochet in the back loop. until we left with three stitches which we put slip stitch okay okay now I'm left with three stitches one two three and then I start with slip stitch slip stitch into that one and then slip stitch into the last one okay you should start seeing a your bag curving inwards okay so I'm just going to do this other row again so I chain one and then I turn my work again the first three stitches I put slip stitch okay two three okay and then I continue the single crochet up until I'm at the each marker again so this is row number two of us decreasing our stitches or reducing decreasing it's all the same okay So now again I have I have this stitch before the stitch marker this one and then there's this one with the stitch marker in the one after the stitch marker that those are the ones that I'm going to decrease using okay so I'm going to insert my hook into the first one again into the next into the third okay so that I have four loops here I yarn over and pull through all the loops then I take my stitch marker and put it back okay then we continue with single crochet so each row you should decrease your stitches by two okay if you had 37 the next row should have 35 the next one 33 up until we're back to 17 okay so i'm going to crochet eight more rows okay we've done two of decreasing so we're going to crochet eight more rows and then come back again at the end you finish off with slip stitch in the last three stitches okay don't forget that it's one, it's two, and then in the last one, that's three. Okay. Okay, so you can see that we're starting to curve in one. So I'm just going to continue for eight more rows and then come back to finish off to pull off our handles onto the onto the back. Welcome back. So I've just finished this other side. So now we want to do the handles. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this in here.
okay so fasten this off later on so this is our bag so far now for the handles we're going to chain 33 okay going to do a chain of 33 this one two three four four five six so i'm just going to continue and come back when i'm done with 33 okay so i now have the chain of 30, 33 so i'm going to join just make sure that um it's straight okay and then i'm going to join to the first one here with the slip stitch okay so that we form a circle okay like this so then i'm also going to continue with slip stitch throughout the handle okay so i'm just going to insert my hook Pull it through, insert my hook, drop my yarn, pull through both loops. Okay, so this is slip stitch, and I'm going to continue right round until I'm back at the starting point. Okay, so just continue with slip stitch, and it should come out of something like this right round until the back here at the starting point. Okay, so now we're back at the starting point and this is our handle. Okay, and it's now a bit firm and that is what we want. So here I'm just going to cut this. Okay. I'm just going to fasten off this so that it don't um, interfere as we crochet. Okay. Okay, so I've, I've already joined this other side. Okay, so this is our handle. So now I want to show you how to do it with this other side here. So this is the handle that we just did. Okay, so I want to join it here. Okay. So, take my yarn. Here at the corner here, I set my hook. And then I pull it. Then I take handle. Okay. Like that. Okay. So that is our first stitch joining the handle. So we're just going to be inserting through these holes here. Okay. So next I'm going to insert here, then pull through, but before I yarn over again, I'm just going to adjust this one so that it becomes close, comes closer to this one, yarn over at the top, and then pull through both loops, and then again, I push this one so that it comes here, I'm going to do that again, I'm going to insert through this one, okay, over then I push this one okay yarn over at the top and then pull through both loops and then again I push this one so that it comes closer to this other one and set through here yarn over at the back like this and also make sure that these stitches, stitches are facing upwards, okay? And then pull through at the top. And then don't forget to adjust this. Okay. And if you have a wooden handle, you can use that instead of this one. Okay. Or a plastic one, you can also do. Okay. Just here. Okay. 
so it should come out like this and then at the front like this so I'm just going to continue up until the end and then come back okay so I've just finished off with the handles and I fastened off the ends and this is how they look like so to finish off we're going to do a slip stitch right round here okay so we're going to do slip stitch So I'm just going to find, find somewhere to insert my hook and then do slip stitch. Okay, I'm just going to do it right from the back to just give a nice edge. Okay. Okay, so this is the slip stitch that we're doing. So I'm going to continue even onto the handles. I'm going to do the slip stitch again. Okay, so continue with slip stitch right round. Okay, and continue up until your back here at the starting point, and then cut and fasten off the ends. Okay, welcome back. So I've just finished back, and this is how it looks like. Okay, I also did a black one. Okay. Thank you for watching me once. Please subscribe and also like and comment.